As we get ready now for the men's 1500 meters, Sydney Maria Villanova from 32 years ago has the collegiate record and meet record, and there is the defending champion who took that dive last year to win the title. And here is a man that Oregon is pinning the slimmest hopes that they possibly could have on winning the men's title, Mac Fleet. That is Austin Mudd, the sophomore from Wisconsin, Dwight. Had a stellar high school career, terrific at 800 meters, blossomed into the great, great miler here under the very solid distance program that they have up at the University of Wisconsin. He's got speed late in the race. If this becomes tactical, I think it plays into Austin Mudd's hands a little bit, along with several others. And right now, it's turning tactical. It often does in a championship. They just don't go out really hard like Sydney Marie did way back when, 30 plus years ago. Nobody really wants to lead, and it's going to set up to be a fierce last anywhere from 600 meters in to certainly the last 300. Oh, this is a cakewalk here, folks. They are race walking right now. And the only problem with this, or the main problem with this, is that they get bunched up. Everybody needs a little bit of running room. And invariably, you get somebody who gets spiked or tripped or something happens and people go down. 49, wow, this is Patrick slow. McGregor of Texas is out there in the lead right now. You're looking at 60, 67 second pace or so, something like that. Jeremy Ray of Notre Dame is there as well. Now the women were buying 69. Let's see what these guys go by in here. And it's about 67 on the nose. 67 one. 67, wow. That's like a 430 mile pace. <laughs> so the men with the best 400, 800 meter speed, this is playing right into their hands. Ryan Hill from North Carolina uh, State, indoors, ran a brilliant last part of his race, getting second at the NCs as far as speed goes. Mac Fleet is happy about a slow pace. Jeremy Ray has run under three minutes and 40 seconds from Notre Dame. He has good speed and was an outstanding 800 meter runner in his high school days in Ontario, Canada. Bear can run, by the way, he can kick. So there's just some of the guys here who could turn this into a blistering last 400 meters. And it's going to play out that way. They haven't picked it up much. And two to go. Forcing, forcing a lot of the athletes to run out in lane two and even lane three, which is extra distance, but it's the best way to stay out of trouble. Mac Fleet way in the back of the pack wearing the yellow top green shorts of Oregon just biding his time he's almost mincing his steps this is so comfortable and they haven't picked it up much 212 plus by the 800 meters wow you rarely see it go this slowly McGregor who's run 343 for 1500 meters top high school talent in his day at Texas the Longhorn and the burn orange starting to pick the pace up a bit no one has challenged him it's Robbie Cruz of Penn State starting to push things a little bit. Jeremy Ray looking from side to side, wishes he had eyes in the back of his head. Patrick Casey, the Brit, is up there. The senior at Oklahoma as well. Now things are beginning to unfold. Cruz, who doesn't have brilliant speed, I think it's fair to say. Pick him out at 257.3. We haven't even seen Andy Bear up near the front. He's about six now in the middle of the pack. Free starting to drive from more than four, four meters out. There goes Mac Fleet, by the way. Fleet moving up, and they're 311 something with 300 to go. Free's fighting off McGregor, who led the first half of the race. Fleet in a good position. Bear now has moved up behind Fleet in the red. It's a long way out for Cruz to try to drive it. Now Mac Fleet is clearly has just one more person. And there's Andy Bear finally gets in position. It is Cruz Fleet and down with, I can't tell who, it's not Andy Bear, he's right there. From Air Force, it's Zach Perkins making a move on Fleet. It's going to be Fleet winning it and the 10 points for Oregon. Mac Fleet. 148, 800-meter runner in high school. Shows the speed that he's got, and those wheels pay off on a slow pace. The crowd is giving him a standing ovation in the home stands here. And he's giving them a lot of the credit. There you can see the move of the man from Oregon going after Robbie Cruz. And there's Andy Bear in the red of Indiana. Down with McGregor, that's who that was, and he took Riley Masters yeah, with him. I think that's right. I think it was Masters that went down. 
Fleet gets clear of the field, and what a wonderful race coming up for the man from Air Force Academy, Zach Perkins, just a sophomore. Wow. The Hayward Magic working for Matt Fleet as he gets 10 points for the Ducks with a win in 350.25. The time is insignificant. Zach Perkins gets second. Patrick Casey of Oklahoma finishing third, and the winner is downstairs with Lewis. Well, Dwight Max said it's fun. So when the gun goes off and everybody hits the brakes like that, how does your mentality change about tactics and how it's going to play out? Uh, yeah, I, I, I lick my shops because I have one of the better finishes. Right. Um, I have pretty good, you know, flat out foot speed. So when they decide to jog like that, and I can just sit in the background and block the wind, it's fantastic. What's it like now running up the home straightaway? Hayward Field, you got the big O on your chest, the crowd cheering, sort of lifting you down the straightaway. I was thinking about that all morning. Just thinking about how coming off that, that final turn, listening to the crowd. I love this place. And I think they love you. Congratulations. Thanks so much. All right, Dwight. All right, well, Mac Fleet did it in the right place. His dad was a good high school runner from San Diego. Mac Fleet comes up to Oregon and gets the ultimate, a win in the 1500.